This video will show you how to download the SCF decentralized wallet. On my video where I show you how to make your account active, you can find the link down here and click the link which will take you to this page. At the bottom, you'll see where it says download. So you can click on that link and it brings you to this page. So obviously, if you have Android, click the Android button. If you have iPhone, click the um, iOS button. So I'm gonna click the Android button and it asks you, do you wanna download? I already have it, but I'm gonna press download again. And I recommend clicking details. So you actually can see where it is being downloaded. On some phones, this will disappear and um, it'll be difficult to find where the actual download went. So click on details and once it's finished, you can click it and it'll ask you, do you want to download? On some settings on some phones, if you don't have certain permissions set, it will ask you, do you trust or do you accept this? because it's not directly from the Google Play Store. So you basically will click OK, yes, um, continue, confirm, whatever your particular phone is asking you because you're saying, yes, I wanna proceed with downloading this app that did not come from the App Store. So I am going to hit um, press cancel because I already have the app and then we are going to go back to the page we were on here. So on this page, which is the same page from that link, if you lost the page, you can hit the um, press the link again and it will show you this page. This is very important. You always need an inviter ID, someone who actually told you um, about SCF decentralized wallet or gave you their link. You need their wallet ID in this box to continue. So you'll press create wallet ID and your wallet ID will now show up in this orange box. And what I recommend doing is clicking on this plus button so that you can copy it. So after you click it, it'll show at the bottom copied to clipboard and either email this to yourself or um, go to whatever notes app you use and I'm gonna go here and paste that. Paste that ID and make sure how, you see how it ends in the last four letters, whatever they are, 8807. For me, I go back here and I look at my last couple of digits, 8807, just to confirm that I have my wallet ID copied down correctly. This is important because again, if you um, start loving the wallet and you wanna share this um, great wallet for someone else to have and someone else to be able to earn in state crypto, you need to share this wallet ID with them so that they then can paste this in this um, portion here. It's basically your referral code. Your wallet ID is your referral code. So now that you have created your wallet ID and you have downloaded the app, what you would do is you would go to your app, right? My app is here. You'd open up your app and you'd go to this symbol here in the corner. You'd click on identity wallet and then you'd click well, you'd be new to it, so the button will come up, create your identity wallet. So in this box, this is where you would actually paste your new identity wallet. And again, making sure that it ends in the last four digits that you remember from your wallet ID. It's always gonna start with ID and it's always gonna end in whichever numbers you note it on your um, notes, your sticky notes, your email, wherever you have this wallet ID saved. And then you can go to this box and create a password. This is very important. You need to write this down in somewhere safe 
so that you can refer to it if ever you need to, um, you lose your phone or you get a new phone or whatever the case may be, you need to have this written down. So choose a secure password and enter it in here. You're gonna enter it in once. So I'm gonna pause here. I'm just gonna unpause to let you see the um, requirements for the password. Letters, numbers, and symbols with at least eight characters. So I'm gonna start again and type that. Now that you've entered your password in twice in the, in the gray boxes provided, you can, you'll see that the create symbol comes up where you can actually click and move forward or you can optionally add a password hint so that if you did forget or didn't write your, your password down, which I don't recommend, you need to write this down. Or if for some whatever reason, um, wherever you stored the password got destroyed, you'll have a hint here, you can put whatever you want. So you then click the create button to move on to the next step. So it then brings you to this page and this page is asking you, um, do you want to back up your mnemonic? This is very important. Your mnemonic is also known as a seed phrase, seed phrase or a passcode phrase, a mnemonic. Like I said, many different wallets call it many different things, but it's usually a 12 word sequence that acts kind of like a, um, the code to your safe, okay? And you want to back up now, not back up later. So you will click this button and it's gonna move you on to the next page. This next page is going to show you in order your 12 word mnemonic or your 12 word seed phrase or passphrase. And it's showing you there don't take screenshots for security purposes. You really need to just write these 12 words down in order in multiple places that are safe so that you do not lose this. If you lose this or anyone else gets a hold of these 12 words, they have your money basically. They have your money. They can wipe you out because now they have the keys to your safe. They have the keys to your wallet. So I'm just stressing this, really, really making this point clear. Your 12 word seat phrase needs to be written down in multiple safe places and your password needs to be written down along with it, okay? They're not random words. They need to be written down in order, one to 12. Okay, now that I've hopefully hit that, Point home and you've got it, we can proceed. So now that you've written your 12 words down in order, the app is going to ask you to put them in order. It's gonna be where these blue marked out boxes are. Those are the words in your phrase scrambled out of order. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna, I'm just gonna say for instance, you're gonna tap Whichever one is, you know, the first word, then the second word, then the third word, and the app is gonna load those words here in order, okay? So once you've done that, this next step will become highlighted in orange and then you can move on to the next step. So after you've tapped to place them in order, you can click next step. And then it will say wallet mnemonic back up successful, and then you're done. Then it'll bring you to the home screen here and you can proceed. Basically, your wallet is now set up. It's not active, which I showed you in this video. You can um, watch this, how to make your account active by adding one SCF. Um, and then basically you can start staking. I have videos on how to quick pledge, all of those things to actually start earning crypto. But this video was simply to show you how you set up your wallet 
And then, like I told you, your wallet ID is your referral ID. So if you click that button there, this will give you the opportunity to copy a link or actually have someone just scan your QR code and they can go through this same exact process that I've laid out for you in this video and um, they can start earning crypto as well. They can store their crypto safely in this decentralized wallet and they can basically start experiencing the benefits of the SCF decentralized wa wallet. And basically SCF is the standard cross finance public chain. Its own blockchain, its own decentralized wallet, its own crypto coin, and its own ecosystem working for us and now working for you.